I made a terrible mistake and lost the only man I've ever loved because of my selfish beliefs. I'm utterly devastated at the thought of causing him pain, but even more heart-wrenching is realizing he's gone forever. I had hoped together we could rectify my mistakes. I had a caring partner and friend but chose to sacrifice it all for meaningless flings with random men. I was 20 when I met my future husband, Donnie, at the library. He handed me a book from the top shelf, and we struck up a conversation, exchanged numbers. Donnie wasn't a looker but had an alluring charisma. Our friendship quickly blossomed into a relationship. To me, he was a first in everything, first date, first kiss, first love, first sexual experience. For him, I wasn't the first. He was far more seasoned than me, making me feel inadequate. When he proposed, I felt a mix of elation and fear that I might have chosen the wrong life partner. After all, I had no one to compare Donnie to. That's when I first suggested an open relationship so I could gain experience before our wedding, reassure myself he was the one. Donnie was livid. He asserted firmly he didn't want to share me and saw me as his future wife. His words moved me profoundly, and for a time, I forgot about the idea of an open relationship and agreed to become his wife. Our wedding was small but joyful, surrounded by family and friends. Our first year of marriage was blissful, but then the nagging doubts resurfaced. I worried marriage had deprived me of exciting sexual adventures. My friends could freely share tales of their many flings while I had nothing to contribute. So, I decided to broach the subject with Donnie. At first, I tentatively hinted at an open relationship, but his reaction showed I could really lose him if I pushed further. I asked how he would feel about spicing up a bedroom night a bit. His blunt, uncompromising response angered me. I felt he was setting unfair boundaries when he himself dated multiple women before me. Why couldn't I do the same? A few months later, I revisited the topic with Donnie and his mom, hoping for a different response, but his stern reply remained unchanged. Reflecting on my actions, I couldn't help but feel the weight of my selfishness. Learning Donnie while harboring interest in other men seemed like a betrayal of our relationship, a betrayal of the person I loved most. As I grappled with these thoughts, I realized the depth of my mistake and the irreversible consequences it had brought upon us. In the midst of this turmoil, Bob entered the picture. He was a commanding presence, with a fuzzy that demanded attention and a charisma that drew people in effortlessly. When he joined my department and became my direct supervisor, our interactions took on a new dynamic. His demeanor exuded confidence, and his subtle charm made it difficult for me to maintain a professional distance. One fateful evening, Bob extended an invitation for drinks after work, and despite my initial disbelief, I found myself accepting. As we engaged in conversation, the atmosphere shifted from formal to intimate, and I found myself divulging my innermost desires. I confessed my yearning for a more open relationship, one that would allow me the freedom to explore beyond the confines of monogamy. Bob listened intently, offering advice that seemed to validate my desires while dismissing Donnie's objections. His words planted seeds of doubt in my mind, encouraging me to pursue my own happiness at any cost. In hindsight, I see Bob for what he truly was a manipulative opportunist, preying on my vulnerability for his own gain. Despite the warning signs, I allowed myself to be swayed by his influence, succumbing to the allure of forbidden desires. That night, as Bob led me to a hotel room, I couldn't help but feel a sense of exhilaration mingled with apprehension. It was a moment of reckoning, a choice that would forever alter the course of my life and the lives of those around me. Looking back, I see the folly of my actions and the pain they have caused. But amidst the regrets and the heartache, there lingers a glimmer of hope a hope that one day, I may find redemption and forgiveness for the mistakes of my past. Until then, I carry the weight of my choices, navigating the complexities of love and desire in search of solace and absolution. Experiencing the rush of emotions with Bob was an intoxicating departure from the familiarity I had with Donnie. It was akin to rediscovering the thrill of young love, a sensation that had long evaded me in my marriage. When I returned home that evening, Donnie awaited me on the couch, seemingly having stayed up to greet me. Silently slipping into the bathroom, I sought to wash away the traces of liquor and the lingering scent of unfamiliar cologne, preparing myself for the conversation that lay ahead. Waking Donnie, I was met with a mixture of anticipation and trepidation. 
knowing that my revelation would alter the course of our relationship irreversibly. Despite his mention of having joyful news to share, I knew I had to broach the subject first. As I tentatively voiced my desire to explore connections with other men, I witnessed the light dim in Donnie's eyes, a stark contrast to the eager anticipation I had hoped to evoke. Yet, steadfast in my resolve, I continued, convinced that seeking validation and attention elsewhere was a necessary pursuit for my personal fulfillment. How regrettable it is now to recall the hurtful words I uttered to the one who had once cherished me above all else. The memory of that moment remains etched in my mind, a painful reminder of the irreparable damage caused by my selfish desires. Donnie's response was a silent resignation, his acceptance of my declaration shrouded in an air of defeat. With a heavy heart, he withdrew from our conversation, retreating into the depths of his own thoughts. The weight of his unspoken emotions hung heavy in the air, a palpable reminder of the rift that had formed between us. And so, as Donnie left without ever sharing the news he had hoped would bring us joy, I was left to grapple with the consequences of my actions alone. The following day marked the beginning of a new chapter, one defined by clandestine rendezvous with Bob and a string of affairs with other men. I delved headlong into a world of fleeting connections and stolen moments, seeking solace in the arms of strangers in a futile attempt to fill the void left by Donnie's absence. Yet, even amidst the whirlwind of passion and excitement, the memory of Donnie's silent resignation lingered, a haunting reminder of the love I had callously discarded in pursuit of my own desires. Blinded by my own misconceptions, I foolishly believed that our open marriage arrangement was accepted and even embraced by Donnie. Naive and oblivious to the impending consequences, I found myself carelessly navigating a path towards my own downfall. During our commute to work, Bob made light of Donnie's apparent acceptance of our unconventional relationship dynamic. As the weekend approached, Bob and I indulged in a luxurious retreat, seeking solace in each other's arms amidst the glittering cityscape. Returning home the following day, a palpable sense of unease hung in the air. The once familiar sounds of Donnie's weekend routines were conspicuously absent, replaced by an eerie silence that seemed to envelop the house. Venturing into the kitchen, I clung to the semblance of normalcy, hoping to find solace in the familiar rituals of our shared life. Yet, my hopes were dashed as I discovered a letter nestled inside my favorite mug. Donnie's words, though now somewhat hazy in my memory, served as a stark reminder of the irreversible damage inflicted upon our once beautiful union. In the letter, Donnie revealed his plans for a prolonged business trip to Canada, followed by the intention to initiate divorce proceedings upon his return. His disillusionment with our marriage, expressed with brutal honesty, shattered the fragile remnants of my delusions. Alongside the letter lay a plane ticket and passport, bearing a poignant message that underscored the finality of our separation. As the reality of Donnie's departure sank in, I found myself consumed by a profound sense of despair. The following day, I bore witness to the dismantling of our shared life, as Donnie's belongings were carted away by his friend. The disdainful gaze directed towards me by Donnie's friend served as a painful reminder of the void left in the wake of his departure. Seeking solace in a series of fleeting affairs and superficial distractions, I attempted to numb the gnawing ache of loss that consumed me. Yet, amidst the haze of my own self-destructive behavior, the realization dawned that I had sacrificed the love and stability of my marriage for the fleeting pleasures of passion. As Bob swiftly sought to distance himself from the wreckage of our indiscretions, submitting a transfer request barely a week after our world came crashing down, I was left to confront the devastating consequences of my own actions alone. Asking him why, I expressed my belief that our relationship held promise. His response was blunt he was moving on, deeming our affair as merely a passing amusement. The sense of betrayal cut deep, compounded by the disdain I faced from my new boss. The anguish seeping from my personal life soon tainted my professional performance, culminating in my termination over yet another misstep. The fallout extended beyond my professional sphere. My parents and friends turned their backs on me, swayed by Donnie's friend who painted me as a wanton betrayer of vows. In a swift and merciless turn of events, I found myself utterly alone, abandoned by those once dear to me. Donnie's return heralded the culmination of our divorce proceedings, despite my desperate attempts to salvage what remained of our shattered bond. My pleas for understanding and reconciliation fell on deaf ears, 
leaving me adrift without the comfort of our shared home or the support of a partner who once cherished me. Regret and self-loathing not at me, a constant reminder of the irreversible damage wrought by my own actions. To our dear listeners, if you found this narrative compelling, we invite you to like and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Sigaing to another tale from over a year ago. At the tender age of 21, I found myself confronting the painful reality of infidelity in my relationship. Despite nearly three years of investment, the foundation of trust crumbled under the weight of constant deceit and lack of communication. Summoning the courage to confront my partner, I issued an ultimatum therapy or termination. Though he initially agreed to seek help, fate dealt its cruel hand when, on his birthday, I stumbled upon damning evidence of his continued disloyalty. Fast forward to today, and while I've embarked on new romantic endeavors, the specter of my past lingers. Memories of his once unwavering support and companionship haunt me, leaving me yearning for the genuine connection we once shared. Despite the turmoil, I remain hopeful, knowing that every chapter holds the potential for redemption and renewal. I wanted to share both good and bad news with my heart aches every time I recall how well we connected. I haven't encountered someone as attentive and loving as he was, and I find myself mentally comparing others to him. I acknowledged the relationship had its flaws, yet it's proving challenging to move on perhaps because I invested so much of myself in it. Despite the breakup, I reached out multiple times for closure, yet he never initiated contact, regardless of his reason. At this moment, even the idea of him reaching out for friendship or anything else would be incredibly painful. The mere thought of seeing his face brings heartache. It's hard to believe that someone I cared about so deeply could hurt me this way. This is more of a heartfelt rant, an attempt to pour out my emotions as I continue my healing journey. While words of wisdom are appreciated, I cried multiple times writing this, but I genuinely feel it was necessary to release these pent-up feelings. Third story about advice. So please write a comment for your advice. I, a 32-year-old male, have been married to my high school sweetheart, a 32-year-old woman, for 11 years, having dated her for five years prior to marriage. Together, we have two young boys. She has been an exceptional wife, always prioritizing me and treating me like royalty. However, towards the end of last year, I discovered she was cheating on me and had slept with another man. The revelation devastated me, especially considering our long history together. Prior to this, our relationship had faced challenges, with arguments revolving around my perceived lack of attention to her needs. Despite my attempts to address these concerns, it seems it was too little, too late. Consequently, I initiated divorce proceedings scheduled for next month. Since discovering the infidelity, my wife has been desperately seeking forgiveness. She has embraced religion, communicates with me daily, shared her location, and provided access to her social media passwords, all in an effort to demonstrate her commitment to salvaging our marriage. Despite her pleas, I remain steadfast in my decision to end the relationship. She insists on continuing the fight until the divorce papers are signed. Last night, she went to great lengths, getting on her knees, crying, and screaming about her love for me, expressing profound regret for her actions and the impact on our family. Remarkably, she refrains from blaming me and takes full responsibility for her mistakes. While I am certain about wanting to move on, I am now faced with confusion. I cannot ignore the fact that she was an incredible wife before this unfortunate episode. The dilemma leaves me uncertain about the right course of action. Thanks for joining us on this chapter of Relation Tales. If you were moved by these stories, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Don't miss out on the upcoming emotional roller coaster of relationships. Your support means the world and we can't wait to share more compelling tales with you. Until next time, remember, every relationship has a story worth telling. See you soon.